I co-founded Sokos with my wife Norma and a former student of mine named Engen Boombacher to think about what we really want to achieve in education. Do we want kids to get good grades? Do we want them to be good test takers? No, what we really want to do is train the craftsmen. Someday, they're going to need a great set of tools. But if they're not a great craftsman, it's not going to do them any good. Take a picture, answer a question, and every day we can tell a parent the one thing they should do today that will have the biggest impact on their child's life. The interesting thing we found looking at 122 million working professionals is that the same things were true of the best skateboarders in the world, the best salespeople, and the best engineers. And it was about being great craftsmen. It was never about their tools. We focus on all of the things we can change in the life of a three-year-old, in the education of a 10-year-old, in the work life of a 25-year-old that will continue to make them better and better and more effective in the world. I nearly flunked out of high school. It's ironic that I tried to end standardized testing because if it wasn't for standardized testing, I'd have been completely out of the game. I did flunk out of college. And then I would argue I flunked out of life. If those decisions about college and high school and going to the best school and getting a great job, if those meant anything, my life should be over. This idea that, oh my God, if I don't get a 1600 or whatever the, you're supposed to get on SAT scores nowadays, if I don't go to Harvard or Stanford, if I don't, then what? I would argue that for the vast majority of people, there's no tragedy there whatsoever. You've got another life coming up. As long as you spend the current lifetime well, that next lifetime will be even better. I've now been in Berkeley for about eight years. In this metropolitan hub of innovation where we're all trying to make an impact on the world, everyone I meet is doing something of substance. Some of the most amazing innovations in the world are right here at UC Berkeley. One of my thoughts in founding this company here in Berkeley is I want to tap into that. Where do I consider Socos and my work a success? Every single one of those lives realigned with what it could have been. That's the success.